continue. Communication and Coronavirus. Finding my new normal by adapting. Imagine that you are in the midst of your hardest academic semester that you have ever experienced in your life. You are constantly putting all of your effort into planning community service events, effectively communicating with professors about assignments, always meeting up with a friend to complete the simplest task, and you are excited for some of your first spring events as a freshman on campus. Suddenly, the unthinkable happens. You never thought your amusing college life would come to an end so quickly. However, in spring of 2020, a biological pandemic has put not only your college career, but the entire world on pause. This is our life now, and we're not quite sure how it will end. One of the things that we take for granted in our lives is our ability to communicate with one another. We constantly forget the privileges that freely speaking to others about topics that we choose brings. However, the situation that the coronavirus has put the world in now has made communication difficult. According to Dr. Maragakis, social distancing is the act of canceling events in order to avoid gatherings of large crowds. The physical space that is intentionally created by social distancing has a purpose of preventing the spread of the virus. Dr. Maragakis also emphasizes the act of self-quarantine. This act is mostly encouraged if you have traveled out of the country where the virus has previously spread or if you have been next to an infected person. You may be wondering what these two points have to do with college. Well, they have impacted numerous student careers. The way that we communicate with professors has changed. The comfort of seeing an instructor face to face is something that I personally look forward to each day. Now without their direct guidance, I feel lost. Of course, universities have made adaptations online with platforms like Zoom or Skype. However, the communication through electronics does not have the same effect as gathering words and ideas in person. Although this is a difficult lifestyle to adapt to, the best actions to deal with this outbreak are being taken. As Bill Chappell notes in his article, President Donald Trump has advised our country to stay home, avoid groups larger than 10 people, stop eating food from public places, and stop unnecessary travel. As these are all daily activities that I participate in, Finding a new routine to fill my days has become difficult. However, I have already made slight adjustments to make the most of it. For example, working out in the morning gives me energy to complete the day. After my workout, I have the rest of the day to complete my schoolwork. Although I cannot attend class, which is upsetting, I have accepted that I now have more time to focus on the details of my schoolwork and study harder. The information from my next point proves just how serious this situation is and why being cautious is so important. Dr. Anthony Fossey has stated, when you're dealing with an emerging infectious disease, you are always behind where you think you are. If you think that today is where you really are. The spread of this virus is rapid. Therefore, we need to prepare for it the best way that we can. According to research, the United States currently has over 4,000 coronavirus cases, and it is expected to rise, especially in large cities. Although this is a huge time of adaptation, it simply takes our commitment of being open and flexible. Most of all, we must follow what the government is advising us to do so we can return to our normal lives.